Welcome to Win Madden. Today we're going over a comprehensive review of Golden Ticket, out of position player, Muhammad Sunny. Being chased out left. Oh, he's going to air it out. Well, this is taken in and please. Welcome back to Win Madden, everybody. Today we're going over a comprehensive review of Muhammad Sanu, and this is out of position, golden ticket version of him. Again, if you guys are new to the channel, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell for when we are dropping new videos. And there are going to be a ton of them coming soon. So, a um, couple things here just before we get into it. Uh, this is going to be a review of pretty much everything around this card. And then at the end, I'm also doing a ranking of all the golden ticket quarterbacks. Uh, I know that we are now less than a week away from you know everybody getting their free golden ticket player, so I have decided that I'm going to purchase a ton of these golden tickets, and I'm going to try them all out, test them, and give you guys as much information as possible on them. So it's going to be a little bit different than our typical review videos where I rank uh, quarterbacks against all of the cornerbacks in the game. These quarterbacks are going to be ranked against all of the other golden ticket quarterbacks specifically. So with that said, let's get into the video. We're going to start with the abilities on Muhammad Sanu. All right, so Muhammad Sanu's abilities, uh, I've got a couple gameplays of them. I powered them down and I forgot to <laughs> record this piece of it, so I had to go back in here real quickly. But uh, for X-Factors, he gets all X-Factors that are available to quarterbacks. Um, first ability slot is his field general ability slot. This is the only slot on Muhammad Sanu where you can add Hot Route Master, for example. Uh, so this very specifically is probably where you are adding Hot Route Master. Um, the rest of them, I believe, are a mix of Scrambler Archetype and... Um, uh, what's the other one? Um, improviser Archetype. So... Uh, he gets all the really, really good ones, especially if you want to use him as a mobile quarterback. Going to be really, really good for that. He's going to be able to get Gunslinger, Dashing Deadeye, Identifier, um, Roaming Deadeye, you know, any of those that, you know, can ultimately lead to scrambling outside of the pocket, you know, throwing accurate passes on the run. Uh, you can also get fast break, all that good stuff. What he does not get, though... And the super disappointing piece of it, as you can see right there, he does not get access to human joystick. So um, that in itself right there, because, and we're going to talk about his stats in a second here, because his stats aren't as good as some of the, some of the other true quarterbacks in the game, and that he doesn't also get access to human joystick, um, he's going to have to be really special in other ways to land on top of our ranking list. So let's get into his stats here real quickly. And surprisingly enough, the stats in this card are pretty good. Um, he's not the fastest golden ticket quarterback, but he's not the slowest either. He's really right in the middle. Uh, you have your true speedsters at quarterback. You've got Lamar Jackson, you've got Robert Griffin III, and you've got Michael Vick. And then you've got you know kind of the slower ones, Cam Newton and Josh Allen. Well, Muhammad Sanu is actually in the middle. Uh, so his speed's really good. He's 6'2". His throw power's not the greatest. Uh, so it's a little bit of a downfall there. But uh, overall, really, really good and hard to complain about this card. Uh, just the accuracy is just not as good as you know the more accurate golden tickets. And he also does not get human joystick like Michael Vick does. So... Uh, just comparing him directly to Michael Vick here. Uh, carrying, though, really, really good. So 99 carrying. Uh, the only thing that why I wanted to stop on that real quickly is, you know, he's got 99 carrying, but, you know, what you'd really like to have him have, if you want to take advantage of his carrying, is that human joystick ability. So, again, it's just a shame this card could be really, really good with human joystick. It's still really good, don't get me wrong, um, but it could be much, much better if it just had one more ability and then again that ability being human joystick so let's get into some gameplay clips of this Muhammad's new card and first we'll talk about mobility so mobility this card is really really good there's really not much to complain about on it uh, in fact it, it's it's really really hard to complain about the mobility of this card but if I'm going to and I have to nitpick a little bit uh, he just does not get to 99 speed and again we're talking about a golden ticket quarterback here so you guys so he's still not cheap 
Uh, but, you know, to be quite honest, he's, he's just not as fast as the other golden ticket quarterbacks. Now, to be fair, if you're not going to get him as, if you're not going to get a quarterback as your free golden ticket, um, he's still a really good option, right? He's just not as fast as, you know, the other ones that we talked about, like Lamar, RG3, and Michael Vick. But still gets the job done, can still, you know, run around, scramble, um, can make plays. Like, for here, I wanted to include this because that's actually a really good play to get that ball away and throw it away. Okay. His release. So if you guys didn't see our video on releases, um, I've got kind of an interesting take on this that I don't think a lot of people are going to agree with, but to be quite honest, I think it's the truth. Uh, as far as releases go, it's really hard to tell the difference between any other quarterback in the game uh, with the exception of Aaron Rodgers. So even though it may feel like his release is slower or that um, the release you know, isn't as good as some of the other ones, I, I don't find that to be true. I gotta confirm that. I haven't actually put him through my testing yet. Uh, so I will confirm that. But to be honest, his, his release feels just fine. It feels very comparable to everybody else that's a golden ticket. So if, if you're really concerned about it, add Gunslinger and you'll be just fine. Uh, but overall, I think his release is just fine. And again, on short, medium, deep, and on the run throws. I think he gets the job done. I really don't notice a huge difference between him and any of the other quarterbacks uh, with the release, especially the golden ticket versions. But again, I'll put him through the official testing so we can you know, get that confirmed. But um, until then, that's just kind of where we're sitting. Accuracy. So really, really accurate card. I don't think he's the most accurate golden ticket, but... Um, it depends on what you want to do with them. Here's where they start separating each other a little bit. If you're going to scramble outside of the pocket and you're going to throw a lot, this card's great. It's going to be phenomenal because you can get dashing dead eye or you can get roaming dead eye. Um, if you're going to sit in the pocket though, and your whole goal is to just throw from the pocket, there are better quarterbacks that are golden tickets. And Josh Allen, Cam Newton in particular are very, very, very good pocket quarterbacks that are golden tickets. Um, and they are better than Mohamed Sanu. So uh, just as Golden Ticket's quarterbacks go, he's not as good as the other quarterbacks, but if you just compare him to non-Golden Ticket quarterbacks, he's one of the best in the game. But again, we're comparing just the Golden Ticket quarterbacks here, so if I'm being fair, with that in mind, he's just not the most accurate of them. So to be quite frank, he's... You need some improvement there. If you're looking for somebody who's just going to sit in the pocket and dot up a competition at this point in the year, you could probably get the job done. Just you know, keep in mind, other options are probably a little bit better with that specific stat. So throw under pressure, um, hard for me to get a clip of this. and Hard for me to really get a feel of this as well, but I did include it, and I'm literally just going off of the, the couple games I played in the weekend league with him and then the, the solos that I put together. Uh, I think his th throw under pressure is fine. Again, same type of thing here, right? I think he's very good if you compare him to other quarterbacks in the game that are not golden tickets. And if you compare him to golden tickets, he's probably one of the worst. But here's where I rank him in the, go the golden ticket quarterback rankings. Uh, I think he is the only good quarterback. I think all of the other ones uh, belong in a separate tier above him. Um, but again, if you are going to select, let's say, Taylor Mays or somebody else as your golden ticket and you want to get a cheaper golden ticket quarterback, I think he's a great option. Uh, the difference between the best, great, and good tier is really, really not all that much, to be quite frank with you. All of these quarterbacks are super good and really hard to beat. So that's the video guys that's the full review on golden ticket muhammad sanu again if you guys have other opinions on it i'd love to hear it i want to hear who you're going to grab as your golden ticket next week and again like always if you're new to the channel like comment subscribe hit the notification bell for when new videos are dropping and again there's going to be a lot of them here coming up and until next time like always win madden